Hey guys, welcome back. We got Jiu-Jitsu Rolling Analysis episode 31. Um, today we have Flynn in the white gi and Jay in the navy blue. Um, if you like the video, if you enjoy the content we I've been putting out, I kind of stop saying we, I've been putting out, hopefully there'll be a we, uh, you know, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, ring the notification bell. Uh, I get these videos out every morning, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Saturday. And uh, yeah, let's jump into it. Yeah, so I've talked about it a few times in this video. I'm not a big fan of the knee fighting. Also, Flynn's a phenomenal wrestler, Jay. So it's a little risky to be going in like this. Um, but... Remember the uh, concept of the, the tripod, right? The triangle, however you want to think about it. Here's this triangle right here. You should be looking to push him. Change the color. You should be looking to push him over these edges, right? Right, you should be looking to push him over these edges. If that's not happening, I mean, there's really no point to doing this. Um, so I would consider just pulling guard. Um, but if you want, yeah, just shove them, you know, shove them in this direction right here. Let's see if you do that. You kind of pull them forward a little bit. That's, while that's viable, it's a little difficult as far as like getting them off base because yeah, he just like kind of pulls back up. Um, you could look for like a front headlock right here. I'd be looking to come over the top, enter into turtle. Um, but yeah, he comes in, gets the, the low ankle pick, puts you down. And take side. So I wouldn't pull him up because you're getting up higher in side control. I'd be looking to turn turn your body into him here. And then look to get your elbow and your knee together on the inside. Um, I would be stiff and arming him. Keep, it, keep him down low. He can't really control you well unless he's got control of your head, right? So I think you're okay right here. There you could look to stiff arm too, subtle, right here, right? You just extend your arm out this way and then look to roll him over the top. Um, at the very least, if he defends it, you can create space with him off of you to turn back into him and get your guard back. Yeah, I'd be looking to just escape here. Um, <laughs> what's up, Eddie? Uh, nice transition. All right, sorry, I had a little issue there with the recording, but I'm back in. Um, Flynn, I would look to take the back first, like put your, before he even comes up. So as he goes to rotate, throw this hook in right here. Boom. But you roll him back down. Oh my God, camera, come on. Yeah, that's a I would I, that's kind of a mistake. I would I would have uh stayed on his back real tight. You kind of give him some space there. I wouldn't go for that arm. I would just take the back. The arm will be there, right? But at the back that's fleeting as he's running away. So I would just look to back step right in here and get your back. Or not back step, like like walk back into him. Pull him okay, so you pull him forward. All right, so we end up in this triangle. This triangle, switch the arm bar. I would switch the arm bar right there. I know you're really trying for that triangle. I would switch that arm bar because here's the thing. Yeah, drive the arm down. So instead of reaching like over his head, I would reach under this way and grab your shin. Um, but even then I would look to just pinch your knees together and bring this, bring this leg over his forehead and get the arm bar finished from here. 
Um, let me think. Yeah, I would I would be using this hand. Yeah, you get the finish anyways. I would be looking the the other hand's gonna be the one. This hand's the one you're gonna want to be using to to grab your shin. However, do you finish with the armbar? You might if you finish with the armbar, then forget that. Um let's move this back. So J. You guys were in that for a while. Okay, so you're here. Right here, po you're posturing up. You're sending your head forward and away from your hips. You are technically posturing up, but your posture's broken. It's kind of weird. You're bringing, you're technically bringing your head up, but your posture's still broken. So what you want to look to do is walk your legs forward under and get your hips underneath your head, right? So you see how that's like separated like this? I want your hips further forward. And the act of doing that will posture you up. And then look to get this arm out. So let me see if I can see in the mirror. Yeah, no, it's rough. Yeah, he's got you pretty good here. Now this whole fight, I would say I would be protecting my arm. The triangle's not in super tight. I would just be looking to turn my elbow in and get that elbow free. But... I don't know. I'd have to be in that. I have to be in that spot. It looks tight. It looks rough. I would say the initial like posture up um, would get you out of there a little bit more safely. Okay. Nice sit. <laughs> I know it doesn't feel great, but if he's gonna play from his knees, like I, it's, I don't, I don't advise it. You know, if you're going to stand, stand. Like, if you both stand, that's fine. But I don't like the, the knee stuff. So, when you have the overhook like this, you can still hit the sweep. You can hit the sweep pretty well, actually. But you have a few options here. I love this position. Um, this, ha this is kind of weird to force. I mean, you could do an arm drag, but usually this leg will be on the outside when you do that. So, to end up in this position with both legs on the inside can be good. What I would like to do from here, what I usually like to do is I keep shoving this arm that way, right? I keep that one really trapped and I'll take my other arm and I'll come over the top and I'll look for a bicep punch. And what that is, is you just take your, your bicep, like the bottom of your bicep, I guess the crook of your elbow, really. Let me see. Yeah, right here, the crook of your elbow. And you're gonna, if this is the head, you're gonna wrap it around Let's see, like this. Yeah, like right over his head, and you just drive him through. You're not actually like punching him in the face, but it's a it's a punching motion with your bicep. And you take that, and what you would do is turn your whole body this way. Very similar to the hook sweep um, in motion, but you want to take him over this direction, like over here, okay? So this direction over here um, because he doesn't have this post. He can bring this leg up, but... You just keep driving it back that way. It's very difficult for him to, to stay on. You can do that again with a bicep punch, or you can look for an underhook if you already have it. Either or, it's going to work well. The other thing you can look to do is retract. If you want to go, so that's an option for going this way, right? If you want to go this way, what you could do is retract this leg up and then back down right here, having your leg on the outside, and then your hook on the other leg, right? So your leg's probably this formation on the other side. That leg switches to basically where this foot is. So now instead of playing with two legs inside, you're going to play with this outside leg over here or that inside leg in the middle. And this outside, le this leg becomes the outside leg over here. What you would look to do then is while keeping this arm dragged, you would pass this arm off to your other arm right at the elbow. And you would look to take this arm and reach around and grab his lat up here. From there, you would look to swing over and take his back. Both very good options. So he kind of forced you into that position there. You could have... So here, you could have actually potentially turned really hard in this direction and taken him over. Um, it's probably a hard thing to do with Flynn. So another thing you could have done is take this leg and shoot it in here 
and kind of get that bottom hook. And then you could look to start messing and taking with his, taking his back with this bottom leg, this hook in coming too. Flynn against. So, Jay, I would use this leg to shove him off. And Flynn, I would look to use your um, tricep here to shove this leg through so it's out of the way. That's going to be tough to deal with if they if somebody like really, really is active with that leg. Okay, I see where you're going. Nice. Uh, something to consider. Getting this elbow exposed is no small thing. So if you track this arm and get under the elbow and drive this up high, you have a clear shot to get to mount. And you can play some mount stuff. Now, that being said, you're still successful getting to this other position. But you're able to expose this elbow. It's just something like maybe you want to consider playing and checking out. It's not not like wrong what you did by any means. Like I don't want it to come across that way. It's just it, it's not a small thing to get somebody's elbow exposed like that. It's it's a pretty big deal. So while the scarf hold position is good, very good. Um, personally, I'd probably want mount over it, but you know, if it's something you're more comfortable with, I just, I don't know why. Let me see. If you want to do that. Yeah, you have to you yeah, Okay. You had to clear that grip, but once this grip is cleared, once that clip grip is cleared, you're just going for it. Yeah. Okay. I guess you do. Okay. 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 Take that back. Take that back. That's fine. If you do expose the elbows, big deal. Um, Jay, these this is not. I don't like this. I don't like this right here. I want frames in front of his face. This this arm needs to come in front and block. Okay. And then look, this hands forward right now. And maybe you did that by causing him to roll. That's fine. Take this arm out right now. Frame and this arm's free. You're gonna re so you have one arm over framing and the other hand reinforcing. Okay. Yeah, because now this is stuck in there, and he can start playing with that. It looks like he's trying to a little bit. So, yeah, Flynn. Uh, Flynn, so you could have done that. Right here. So you you po you post into him a little bit. Right here, you could have done it too. If you just pinch, pinch this way and this way, right here. So like kind of like your elbow to your knee. They're not gonna touch, obviously, but that motion. When he turns right here, his he's just gonna be like if you're trying to bring your elbow and your knee together. There's no way he's he's getting any space. He's able to create a little space. Nice job catching that coming back. And forcing that through. Jay, I would say your only chance here really is early that early defense. Get this earlier when you have two hands. If you can get two hands, that's a much more significant threat for Flynn. Here, not that big of a deal. Clear that grip. Good. I like you clear the grip, but you see how... Basically, he's just going to ankle pick all day from here, right? So you can know that's coming and strip that grip and then snap down. You can look to sprawl real hard, but those, it's going to be hard with you when he's grabbing your ankle. Pulls you over. Oh, you didn't break that grip. It's a good combination of like wrestling with the jujitsu grips, Flynn. That's cool.
you have a juicy arm right here for you. I know you're messing with the gi, but I would just take this. Uh, probably dodging people right now. Sorry for the distance here. Just take this arm back and get right under here. Uh, you could do a paper cutter choke pretty easily right now, which is where you take your top arm and just bring it right across his neck right here. You grab the gi right here, bring it across his neck, and then bring your elbow to the floor. This, this, uh, your back arm. Ah, uh, no, is it your front arm? Oh my God, I'm blanking out. Yeah, it's your... Your back arm comes underneath. So you take your back arm and come underneath and grab here, and then this arm comes on top. Yeah. Arm bar. Yeah, this arm right here. Ooh, what, what was the submission? Oh, was it, oh, he had some choke on. Yeah, okay, we'll skip it. Can't see it. And I don't know those chokes very well, so I'm not going to attempt to <laughs> make some stuff up that I don't know. Although I'm sure some of you watch my videos and you're like, Nick, you're an idiot. You make up stuff all the time. I don't. I know Butterfly. That's like... For sure. Flynn, I like the, I like, I mean, uh, Jay, I like your, I like you putting yourself in, in these opportunities to play. Oh, nice, nice. Do not give this up. Do not give this up. Yeah, dude. Very nice. Very nice. Nice job. Very nice. Okay. Like the, the ending didn't work out great, but the execution was great. Um, when you guys get something like this, like, don't give this up. This is great. You roll through. So what you want to be looking to do in this position, it's it's hard, is you want to bring these hands down hard on his chest. You want to slow him down. Because you don't have any type of diagonal control or, any, or crucifix fully in here, he's going to sit up. And given the spin, there's not too much you could do about it. But the cool thing is he's going to have to turn into you, okay? If he tries to turn away, and you know this because if he tries to turn this way, let's see if I can get this like slightly not blurry. No, I don't think so. If he turns this way, you just retract his hand from his chest and you come on him. But he has to turn this way, meaning that this leg and more importantly, this hip, okay, has to turn uh, it, it when he turns this way, right? there's gonna be an opening here. And what you wanna do is you wanna take your leg and slide it underneath and get your hook in as he turns, okay? And what that's gonna do is allow you to start playing with one hook in. So right here, you slide that knee in hard. So you gotta turn, you gotta turn on your side, okay? And turn real quickly. Yeah, you kinda got the idea there, but that's, that's generally it. From here, I. Um, unless you feel very confident with your ability to pull him back over, I would let go at this point because you're going to come more yourself. Yeah. I would have let go back right here. No. I would have let go right here and got my guard and regarded. Flynn, you're doing all these moves. I don't know. Yeah, there's like, there's a choke in there. I think you were trying for it. 
Yeah, I think if you get your chest over his arm and, and you sprawl back, you can get a choke, but uh, I don't know. So, so well. This is huge. Nice. You have mount with that arm exposed. I S mount right now. Do you S mount? You slide that knee up high in the back. Uh, I don't agree with that, but let's see what happens. Jade looks like he's in a lot of pain. Yeah. I'm going to let this play out because it looks like the end of the round two. Yeah, see, you're going for the arm now. You had it. You had it. You, like, gave it up and... and you're you're doing extra work for no reason. Yeah, you already had it way back. Okay, All right, let's let it play. I think the round's gonna end. Yeah. So right here, you have that arm, and it's kind of annoying because I can't see your back here. But what you'd want to do is you slide that back knee up high like here, you wanna get like the kneecap, like right about here, right next to his head. And you wanna slide this foot up as high as you can, ideally like right around here. And um, and 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 flip it over eventually. So you'd have your foot like bent like this, like this is, you know, up like towards the top, towards the sky, like your, this is your big toe and your pinky's down here. And um, the, the long end of your foot's up here, the short end of your foot's over here. Not the best way to draw it like this, but you'd flip it over and um, you'd be sitting directly on him. And then you'd be looking to attack this arm from a much more advantageous position. The other thing I'm noticing you do is when you go, when you throw for arm bars, this is the more important leg. Like you can finish an arm bar like this. I mean, with this you know, heavy on his head, you can finish an arm bar with this leg back here, no problem, okay? So I wouldn't put so much emphasis on this leg as I would making sure that this leg's controlling him. There are some very, there are some different positions that you can be in with this that that provide you more advantages, and there's definitely like a hierarchy to good arm bar positions, but all of them involve head control, and most of them involve the head control coming from this leg. Okay, there's some there's some uh, positions there that's not true, but but they all do involve some sort of head control. Okay, um, yeah, good round, uh, nice job, guys. Let's keep it up, keep up the good work. If you would like me to review one of your videos, please reach out to me here on YouTube, or you can connect with me at Kaledi Nick on Instagram, and we can work something out. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, thank you for the comments and the feedback and the critique. I really appreciate it. Uh, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.